to N90X and the SDX series. Today I'm going to upgrade the firmware on my SDX. Let's log in to the SDX management interface. According to this documentation here from Citrix, how to upgrade NetScaler SDX service virtual machine from version 10.5 to version 11 you're supposed to download this bundle, but it is not available. If you click on it, you're not going to get it. However, the newer version, at least as of today, January 19, 2018, this appears to be the next version. Uh, SDX bundle 11.0.71.18 rather than what is mentioned here in the support article 11.55.20 so that's just uh, something to think about because it's not available now the reason for that is in the older versions like 10.5 you had a split in the system where you could upgrade the management service separately from the Zen server hypervisor underneath. After 11, that's all integrated into a single bundle, as they call it. So the first thing you have to do is when you get into your dash, your console here, go to click on configuration, click on management service, and well, software images, but obviously before you can come here, you want to download the build which which I've already done, right? If you look for the most current 11.0 build, download that. Make sure it's TGZ extension. Some browsers, when they download it, it'll extract the TGZ, and it, it won't be there. So it won't be a TGZ. It'll be a tar file. This 10.5 will reject the tar file. It will insist that you upload a TGZ file. Now if we go to system, upgrade management service, we should be able to click on this. This is the only one in there, obviously. After you've uploaded your software image here, you just click on upload, hunt for your file, click on upload, it'll come up here. Then you want to go to system, upgrade management service, since there is only the one file to upgrade to, it'll be highlighted, click OK. The selected image will upgrade the entire appliance which may cause the appliance to reboot. Do you want to continue? Yes. Make sure, by the way, that you have this, that this machine is not uh, active in a high availability, any kind of high availability configuration. Make sure this is not active and before you do this because it will disable all of your everything and reboot. So I'm going to click yes. Let's see what happens here. So it is only going to, it looks like it's only going to be upgrading the management service. This is the management service upgrade. But once we get to version 11, then we'll be able to upgrade to 11.1, .1, the full bundle, or 12 point whatever is the latest, the full bundle, which I'm going to show you next. So let me pause this video as this is going, and we'll come back when it's finished the upgrade. It took about two minutes. This is the SDX 8200 hardware appliance. I rebooted. Let's get in. Okay, wow, this is new. I'm gonna skip that. And system. Now notice the system administration stuff has changed. Now it says upgrade appliance. There's no more upgrade management service and upgrade Zen server separate. 
everything's in one piece now. So now we have the upgrade appliance situation here. We are now at 11.0.71.18. Now the next step, of course, would be to upgrade the appliance to either 11.1 or 12.x.